Hey, here is your Jinx Book Club representative who's talking about again. I'm up to, I'm on my second. I'm on my third book talk. The second book I'm going to talk about is Getting Even. Now, I'll admit this book I have not read in years, but I did a book talk with my students. I did a book talk on Getting Even by Rashonda Tate Billingsley. I also did a book talk on Gordon Corman's Juvie 3. And I also did a book talk, oh gosh, what was the third book? Shooter by Walter D. Myers. And what I love about my book talks, not all the time, but I love that this time, all three books, my eighth graders was like, I want to check that out, I want to check that out. And I am very cautious about what books I share with my sixth graders versus my seventh and my eighth. And sometimes what I share in my sixth and my seventh and my eighth are totally different. The Good Girl series, I'll admit is an old series. You're talking about these books came out, uh, I wanna say in the 2000s, early 2000s. I know it was around 2006, maybe 2007, maybe 2008, I might be wrong. but. Although these are older books, all the books I just listed are older books. They're classic books. They're good fiction. I'm trying to get to the point. I don't know how when and how this going to happen. Then I read every book on my shelf in my classroom. Wish me luck. Because um, you got the old stuff on my shelf and you have the new stuff that keeps coming out. Like I look at um, Nick Stone who just released... Um, is jackpot and she has another one that's coming out soon so it was like back to back to back to back to back it's hard to keep up so Rashonda Tate Billingsley what I love about this book and she's known for bringing the drama one of her um books let the church say amen was turned into a movie what I loved about this good girl series and she has another series I'll admit I couldn't get into it um this good girl series I read every single book in the series and I'm trying to reclaim them because some of those books have not made their way back to my classroom. What I love about the Good Girl series is you have the drama that all the teenagers love, but you don't have the cursing and you don't have the inappropriate scenes. I have read some young adult fiction books that have some sex scenes that made me wonder, am I reading a porno? And that's sad. It shouldn't be that way. It was very inappropriate. And there were books I had to snatch off my shelf because I thought the concept was good because it came from a certain publisher. And then I read it and realized, oh, no, let's take that out. So as a classroom teacher, you have to be very careful what is on your shelf. I know people don't believe in censorship, but at the same time, if I believe it's inappropriate, I'm not going to leave it on my shelf. And that's just me. Um, so getting even is part of the series. I cannot remember the exact book number, but it starts off with Blessing in Disguise, where there's a group of young ladies, but because they made the wrong choices, they end up part of this mentoring group of this lady pastor. And because of the choices she made in her youth, she wanted to form this group. And it was only five girls, either five or six girls, and they all have some type of issue. Um, and this particular book, and I wish I had the back of it because I cannot remember names right now. And that is bothering me. So um, basically in the first book, Camille ends up in the group because she ends up on probation. Um, she has this boyfriend. She likes to hang with the roughnecks. She likes to do so with thugs. And come to find out, she thought she would just spend the time with her boyfriend at her grandmother's house. Come to find out the boyfriend had escaped jail. And she gets arrested for her being a fugitive. So as a result, she has to spend this time in this group. And as a result, these girls create these bonds. Well, in Getting Even, Camille, and I cannot remember the other character's name. I know it's not Jasmine and I know it's not Angel. It's the other young lady who she came from a very prominent family. They find out that they are dating the same guy. So the whole book is about number one you journey to the point where they realize okay they are dating the same guy now it was like what are we gonna do about it because we don't have time for this and what you're not gonna do is play me so i love getting this whole when i say i loved every single book in this series i loved every single book in this series and i'm so fortunate that i went on walmart and walmart had them as cheap as like 3.99 um, so I'm, I already have them in my, um, box. So anybody want to, you know, cash at me a donation, help me support my little book habit. That'd be awesome. But anyway, <laughs> but pretty much this is a great series. Again, the drama is real. Jasmine is one of the main characters in this whole series. Jasmine has an anger management problem and Jasmine is quick to fight. 
in a minute. You have ja um, Camille, who's the one who was harboring the fugitive. That's why she ended up in the group. Angel, I'm not mistaken, was um, she has a little girl. Um, and I can't remember Angel was 16, 15, or how old she is. Alexis is the girl that Alexis and Camille find out that they have the same boyfriend. They've been dating the same guy. And Alexis, I cannot remember how she ended up in the group. But I do remember that she um, loved to shop, loved to spend money, and she got into some trouble. So definitely, this is something you may find it in the... Um, the um, libraries, but you definitely can find it online through Kindle. Amazon still has them, but definitely look up Rashawn Tate Bill and see the Good Girl series. This is a great series. Happy reading.